hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> When you're gonna do it, hey? We're not talking questions like what your usual people are asking, like Rob Tebbett or Coogan Cassis. We're talking real boxing questions. So when you're gonna come and do it, Eddie? You've got my email. I'm gonna send you my new phone number today. Give me a ring, Eddie. Don't you be a bottle job. Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Now, you've probably all heard about Jarrell Miller. Apparently he's failed a dope test. And uh, everybody seems to be condemning him at the moment. I don't know why, I mean... I mean, we've got Darren, we've got Michael Benson here. His tweet is, Jarrell Miller has reportedly tested positive for another performance enhancing substance ahead of his planned return on July 9th. Fight scrapped as a result. He previously tested positive for three PEDs before cancelled fight versus Anthony Joshua, according to Mike Coppinger. Darren Barker replied, if this is correct, ban the loser for life, Dis disgrace. Now, Darren Barker wasn't saying anything like that when Dylan White got busted, was he? He was coming out with things like, let's wait for the B sample. And that's what I think we should all do. We should wait for the B sample before we condemn Jarrell Miller. But what Darren Barker's forgetting is this. Dylan White's done a two-year ban for drugs. And Povetkin's got, is it three, three issues with drugs? He's had a, had a couple of bans, hasn't he? Or a ban. I know he's had issues with drugs in the past. And they fight in August. But no mention of, of, of ban them. Do you know what I mean? So why is Darren Barker yet again putting his tongue up Eddie Hearn, because that's all, all he's doing, isn't he, really? He, he's just pushing the macho narrative. Do you know what I mean? And if it's not Darren Barker, it would be Co Tony Bellew asking for uh, Miller to be stoned in a set of stocks in Village, so everybody can throw house bricks at him. These people have no shame. So what I'm going to do is, this video is going out, and it's going to be called, Is Jarrell Miller Innocent? So let, let's wait, let's wait, because we all condemned Dylan White, didn't we? And his B sample came back as negative, even though he peed in one cup and then they poured it into two, chest, two test tubes. One test tube were positive, the other one came back negative months and months later. So let's wait for the B sample before we condemn Jarrell Miller, all right, because at the end of the day, he's a human being, isn't he? I don't like PD cheats at best of times, but let's not condemn the man like Darren Barker and, and obviously the matchroom narrative because he'll have been told to put that out, Darren Barker, because he's not like that. He, he'll have been told to put that out to, to, to set the ball rolling, to stick the knife in, and that's just how they are. They all have their own narratives, don't they? So, alright, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, big shout out to Lacoste and Watchfinder, peace.
You liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.